Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are in the world. Welcome back to the channel. Today I have something I wanted to install in one of my cars. And uh, I say one of my cars because it's something I could install either in the Porsche, the Abarth, shoot, even the, uh, the RX and the Fiat 500 Sport. I, it could go on either one. And that product, if, as you can see on the thumbnail, is actually a mirror that also serves as a reverse camera. So I had to make a decision, like what car am I going to put it on? Because I could put it on the Porsche, but the thing with the Porsche is that if you're going to go and try to get some wire from the mirror, which is inside all the way into the back uh, near the license plate, like that's a lot of work. I later on saw that they sell one that has sort of like a kind of like a remote or not a remote what do you call it like a almost like a, a wireless um, functionality where you don't have to run the wire through to get to the camera so long story short I'm gonna go with the Abarth on this one let's check out what's in the box okay so I got it here in the trunk of the Barth just so that we could have sort of like a table okay in the box we got the mirror itself which is still wrapped up and open this up you got was the actual camera and everything you need to run the camera from the front to the back and also i think to connect to the reverse light so you, it knows when you're reversing we have a GPS sensor here because I don't think you could actually use GPS in the sense of like it giving you directions, but in the sense of it knows if, let's say, for example, you were to get into an accident, you know exactly by GPS where you were, sort of, I guess, if you had to show proof. Uh, I might be wrong about that, but that was my understanding when I purchased it. Uh, the next one is a cigarette lighter adapter. This is how you run power to it. Now, if this was in the Porsche, it actually would be pretty cool because the Porsche has a cigarette lighter adapter somewhere else near the footwell uh, where you um, wouldn't see it necessarily all the time. Whereas the Abarth will have it right where you see it near the cup holders. But I'm okay with that. I'm not going to be charging much of anything anyways. Uh, next, you got some straps here. This is, I believe, what straps that mirror to your stock mirror. Um, yeah. Not sure what these are. Well, I know what this is, but I'm assuming these are probably to hold the wiring in certain places, but they don't give you many. And this tool is to sort of pry the interior parts that you need to get out of the way in order to run the wiring. Next, uh, this, you've probably seen these type of tabs before. This is like a screen protector for the mirror and your wipes to clean it up before you install the screen protector, which I might not do and some instructions i think this does have a feature where you could set it kind of like a tesla where it'll record if it senses movement i may or may not do that because i'm not sure how that'll work i think you might need to tap into some sort of power you can't just leave it plugged in it won't work i think not sure doesn't come with an sd card is one thing i noticed so hopefully i have an extra sd card somewhere yeah i think the approach i should go at this is sort of like a back to front uh, approach with this so I think well now I think I know that with this camera now this would make sense I think for the Porsche like if I were to mount this with screws or something uh, back here by the license plate on the Porsche because it has such a you know like a slanted down I really need to see what's back there uh, kind of angle it would make sense there now the bar it sort of has like this like flat uh, flush almost flush shape to it so I think for what would be easier and also make sense I think is to have the camera mounted up here pointing down I've seen that done before and so in other words I think a couple things are gonna have to happen right so I think we have to get this down through here in order to go through the interior because it, it can't can't go through here I think right because this will just keep closing on it so I think it has to go through here uh, shouldn't be too tough to do hopefully not running this I might need like a coat hanger or something to run it through we'll see 
then it should go through there all the way through the sides luckily this is not a four door and then straight over there the other thing that has to happen is that if i want the reverse light feature to work i will also then need to somehow get that wiring down here because this is where so what i had to go through here i believe and down into here to get to the reverse light i wonder if it's uh don't know if it's easier there or here we'll figure it out or hmm i think if i'm not mistaken there's another option where i could just tell it when to show me the reverse not necessarily each time you reverse it'll come on that might be like a lazy way to do it i could always try that first and then see if I, you know if that doesn't work then i could always attach the the reverse feature i'm rambling let's go the so first thing i think i'm gonna try to do is uh back here is or not i'm trying to do what i already did i used my own tool the one that comes with it it's kind of messed up but uh took this out basically it looks like this and it looks like we have a phillips screwdriver all right in there not screwdriver phillips screw <sighs> okay yeah once you've unscrewed this you can see now it's just wobbly so I just need to get that one out and this should probably just pop right out or something I totally didn't think of or expect <laughs> because I don't think the third brake light is actually back here so that's gonna hang like that I think I should just uh, plug it maybe we'll see I may or may not unplug it well I just realized there's some broken clips back here interesting wonder who did that hmm you could just leave this laying here uh just for safekeeping for now the screws don't are actually not falling out even though it is unscrewed uh, so i think that should be okay if not i will have a fun time looking for it anywhere it falls in this direction and i think what i'll do now is i gotta feed the wire for the camera uh down into here but first i want to make sure this uh yeah, should pop out yeah should pop out fine and then i have to see if going this route will get us somewhere over there let's hang in tight just gracefully take this down pops right out as you can see this is all uh kind of tucked in together all nice and neat unfortunately i won't be able to get the wire attached all the way through alongside with this because that's i mean that's just impossible you can't see any of that so i'll try my best to somehow oh man yeah that's gonna be a little bit tough to get through we'll try our best now uh, you may experience that this one's a little bit tougher to pull out than this one uh, you just use your little blue tool that i used earlier uh, to get this out and now we're gonna see if we have access in there wire the or try to get the wire through or feed the wire through from here to maybe here and then slowly down to here is i've i'm going to use a super long zip tie here and attach the wire to the zip tie with another zip tie and we'll see if we could push this uh through so i could feed this little by little uh see if that works to go with this smaller hole here versus this big hole here <clears throat> and you can see it there it is right there whoop not focusing but it's there and now i just gotta try to take that out success sort of so i ended up just like kind of using this to give it a little tug out and now it's through i think we could then now continue see to work our way through oh wow i wonder if we could go through this or not it may not be able to we'll probably just have to ride along with it and down into here oh actually now i'm just talking to myself or am i talking to you guys yeah this is gonna be weird but we'll try we'll give it a shot look who we have here yeah i made it through some this i hope you guys can see it this plastic it just comes off uh things may break uh, i got lucky where so far it hasn't and then this you gotta just kind of give it an old pool and then you got the airbag there and some other things but doing that whole zip tie thing and just bringing it down it, it, it did eventually slip out but i got it out right on time 
and I should be able to get this through. It should be somewhat easier from here on out as far as getting the wire all the way to the front, uh, but that's hoping for the best. This is the current situation. It's now coming from up here. Uh, it's gonna be going through here. I, I, gave, it, I gave it some slack because ultimately what I want to do is keep it snug in here with the mirror. Uh, that, that's the stock mirror, by the way. That's not the new one. New one's right there. And that's gonna be all nice snug. And then this is going to uh, slowly just kind of press back and uh, be nice and neat once this is nice and neat up here first. So it's uh, gonna be a lot of tugging and pulling. If you know what I mean. Here's the camera. I'm sorry, the mirror and the camera. Yeah, I was kind of right. Here's the mirror, the side that's facing outward uh, towards the front, and it has a dash cam right there. Uh, and it looks like it swivels around, so you could kind of move it how you want it if you want it to point a little bit more center, since it is going to be mostly towards uh, what looks like the passenger side of my best friend's right actually it's my right and the mirror will go just like that oh it's actually longer than the original one that's even better yeah it'll look really nice and cool uh, i don't know if it has a yeah it has a protective screen on currently so that'll come off towards the end and at the top you have your no, actually oh oh wait you know what it was upside down sorry sorry so it's gonna go towards the driver's side the camera uh this is <laughs> this is i'm holding now i'm holding it the right way and up here is uh, your power connection and your, I think, uh, oh, it's our, oh, there's already an SD card in there. Yay. And a uh, microphone, no, AV in. And then uh, that might be a mic, I'm not sure. Anyways, or maybe that's the GPS. I forget there's GPS as well. And yep, I think the straps go onto this, around that, let's go. The mirror is up, again, just some rubber straps that go along both sides the swiveling camera is on this side here towards the bottom and there is still a film on it and i believe it does have a blue tint even without the film but it does look a little hazy and that's only because of that film once that comes off it should look nice and shiny um, and i'll just start connecting some things see if everything works the way it should before i tidy everything up and make that decision if i think i will do it or reverse will make it automatically turn on i mean if i'm doing all this i might as well do it the right way or the way it's intended to but yeah let's let's connect some things okay so we got the mirror plugged in as far as power now i think the camera has its own power so i don't know if this will work i'm just going to turn on the power of the car i'm not going to start it up but let's see what happens just giving it some power damn it even has music wow holy moly okay so the camera is upside down uh but look at this oh well, that's i could clearly see the back it looks good i gotta let you guys know what you're seeing what i'm seeing uh, on my camera uh meaning you know meaning the uh, this camera the one you guys are looking through right now uh, doesn't give justice like you see more reflection in here than you do in real life and it looks really clear very fancy this is gonna make this car look like amazing i see someone walking up maybe not anyways uh please form an sd card it gives you oh man this is cool so it actually gives you uh let's see if i can block it off a little bit yeah there you go it gives you the date the time now this is the wrong date and the wrong time but it's the right month and year okay hey not too bad month and year is correct again the camera is upside down uh but i do believe when i see people walk around that's pretty cool let's see what we could do whoa that makes it sound like a telephone call uh, there's a microphone let's see a camera what happens when you do this nothing uh please format sd card camera 2k i'm not sure back g sensor parking motion that's the thing i was talking about the date the time the button sound 
Stream stream media? What? Back. I don't know how to. Oh, wow. A swipe does it. Look, there goes the front camera. There's my <laughs> Look at that. It's magic. Okay, I'm being dumb. But yeah, look, there goes the there goes the Ducati. And I could face it more towards the Ducati. And I can face it more towards the middle. That's probably where I would want. But look, it's split screen. Uh, now I don't oh when you can go back to just the front. This is weird because you're looking where you would normally look to look behind you, but you're seeing what's in front of you. And you can go that way, that way. I wonder if that's all you can do. How do I get the camera off completely though? That's, that's what I want to know. Because this is going to be a trip if I'm just seeing behind me the whole time. But I guess, you know, it does make sense that I can have it this way. Don't know what that means. Okay, I'll, I'll mess around with this a little bit more and then I'll figure it out. But right now everything is working. And uh, yeah, let's... Let's see about connect finishing up this connection. Apologize now. I already got this open. I got a little bit excited, but basically we're, we connected the reverse uh, light wire so that when you put it in reverse, it automatically shows you uh, reversing in the mirror. So uh, this is easy. A couple of Phillips screws, or I think it might even be a 10 millimeter. You could do either one. And then this just kind of like snugly snuggly snuggly pops off and in the back you'll see a harness similar to this one and the one you're going to want to tap into is the gray green wire it's, it's similar to this it's not the exact same one but it looks just like a green gray wire in the back of this and again my apologies but i'm not going to take this back down i should have shown you my bad um, but now we're just going to get this up get this all nice and tugged and i think i know how i'm gonna mount the camera all right so ladies and germs this is what this looks like here it's not perfect it's not the prettiest but you know what the windows are tinted and the wiring is complete i just uh decided to just go down this way for the power for this because technically if and again i apologize for not showing you the inside of this but if you take this out it's pretty much all just like this there's not really an opening into here like i thought there would be so i think this will work just fine there's enough slack i think where nothing will snap and if it does you know what it's a cheap installation anyways the camera's up here i decided to go this way as opposed to going into the trunk and and having to like screw things and take off even more panels and again like the the shape of this car it's it's just flat so this is all i really need so that's how the camera looks and whoa that's a hard slam well but i mean we might as well test it the camera is somewhere in there it's again it's tinted but check this out again the mirror all the wiring nice and tucked i didn't put the gps on i'm gonna try to live without the gps for a while boohoo right but uh where are the keys oh they're in my pocket okay so let's just get it all fired up and as that's firing up i'll just show you again you've you've seen that part and now there there's the the camera view it says uh please format sd card and you know what let me do that real quick uh, hold up i don't know if that did it or not but i gotta change some things on there uh it does look kind of uh well can't again the camera can't really give it justice but right here around the headlight of my ct it is uh not sharp at all uh, as you start to get towards the middle, it is a little bit sharper. Not perfect. Now, let me show you when you put it in reverse. I'll hold the brake. Uh, but automatically, there you go. So, like, I'll, I'll, I'll give you guys the, like, the countdown. Uh, and reverse. There you go. So, uh, maybe a second, maybe less. And then what I like is it gives you the lines here. So, even though the camera's up top, it does give you a wider view. Now, you can see... Uh, our rx our ct um my sister-in-law's pilot and then the fiat 500 way back there uh, versus when it's not in reverse uh now you only see what's right behind you now it's it's, it's interesting uh because if if you were to just leave it like this 
I wouldn't imagine this is the greatest view to have as a, just a, a, a mirror if you're doing this as a mirror image right and I still haven't figured out how to turn it off completely where it's just used as a mirror and but I have found out that swiping it now you got your your front camera which looks really good and then your rear camera which uh, doesn't look as sharp the front camera looks very sharp and yeah I'm gonna go through the menu and see if there's like a way where the cameras can be completely off and I can just use the mirror and I've yet to find that out I thought maybe it'd be stream media but I guess stream media I guess you could stream while using this I don't, don't know why but yeah nothing on here as far as having the cameras off while you're driving but then again I haven't driven with it yet so uh, maybe I'll do that and I'm not gonna do that right now but I will do it I mean in the video you'll, you'll think I did it right away but technically I'm gonna do it tomorrow but yeah uh, and that'll be yeah we'll switch to tomorrow all right so here we are the next day and I think it's only fitting that we get a nice cold start for the Abarth while I go get some coffee and then see how this thing works when you're out and about driving. Let's do it. All right, so where I turned it right up, it's in split mode and then we'll get it in reverse soon and see what that's like when you're actually reversing. So here we are at Phil's and before I go wait in line, actually, you know what? Yeah, let me go get my coffee first and then I'll talk to you guys. Okay, something I wanted to show you guys is that you see uh, when you have it in the dual screen mode, you can see a lot of what's behind. And when you, let's see, when you switch to just the back, you notice how like now it's only really looking at the floor. So in real life, when you're driving around this mode, the full mode, unless there's a way to make this stick out more no no or maybe there is i just don't know but when you have it in this mode all you see is the floor behind you you don't really see way behind you like you do in this mode right here so that's something you kind of have to get used to because when you're looking to see who's behind you your your first initial reaction is to look at the whole thing and, and if you see a car in front of you here you think oh there's a car behind me on my left when really there might not be so that's something you need to get used to when you have it on uh, when you're driving around and you know you're looking behind you and you have the other screen here because i feel like this mode right here is pretty useless because all unless something is right right up behind you i mean really really up behind you other than that this really does nothing for you so again unless there's a different way to set this up or or um somehow to zoom it out which i don't know how it's not like a phone where you can zoom in and zoom out uh yeah oh it's doing something but i think it's uh probably pressed it to record yeah i knew it okay but yeah uh just wanted to point that out uh so it's something to either get used to with this or pretty much completely useless uh if you have it this way but yeah just want to point that out all right, back at home, I think I'll wrap it up from here. Pretty much overall, I I'm, I'm really enjoy this mirror. I think the technology and it's great. I think the Corvette C8, maybe some other cars, have this feature already built in. So this is something that you're, you're going to start seeing uh, more and more in some other vehicles. Now, the whole backup camera thing you, you, you've been seeing for a long time, and that's something that if you buy a car that's 2016 or newer, it, it has to be on it here in North America. It has to have it. So... Um, uh, not meaning like, oh, if, if you don't have one, you got to go get one. Don't don't get me wrong. It's not like a law like, hey, you don't have one, go get one. What I mean is like a new car, 2016 and newer. That's, um, a, that was a law that it had to have a rear or a reverse camera on it. Reversing camera. So the reverse camera feature on this mirror is perfect. I I love it. It helps a lot. It, it feels just like it would like on the CT200. Uh, or even the other Lexus that we have, the RX, it feels just like that. 
uh, and it's in a convenient spot. You're looking, you're normally looking in your rear view mirror anyways. So it's at that spot where you're very familiar to look at when you're reversing. So I like that a lot. Uh, that the fact that it has a dash cam in it and it, the dash cam is like in a really good spot uh, You actually see a lot the the, the wideness is really great uh, Which is really cool. Uh, I think that's pretty awesome and Just that whole thing that I was showing you guys were like if you do a full screen of just reverse or I'm sorry uh, the rear camera when you're driving forward it's pretty useless at that angle. I couldn't find any way to make it more wider, uh, which is unfortunate. So the only way I could get it wide was when it was in split screen mode. And in that split screen mode, it, your eyes do kind of play tricks on you at first. Again, it's my first drive with it. So getting used to that, that first half where it's showing you the front and you see things passing and it might trick your mind to thinking there's things passing you behind you. That part is a little bit weird, but if you look at just the part of the screen that's showing you behind you, it works great. I would say for the most part, it works really good. It's just not as good as a mirror when you're looking at a mirror and you, you for sure see a car there. I noticed when I was looking at my, my side view mirrors versus uh, the little screen that shows you a wide view of the back, that uh, one, it was obviously easier to see the cars, and then two, they did appear to be closer in the mirrors than they did in the screen in the screen it might seem like the car is way behind me still there but pretty pretty much behind me whereas when i went to go look left or right uh the car seemed to be a lot closer almost to the point where i'm like oh i need to speed up a little bit so the perception is a little bit a, a tiny bit off but what do you expect right this could also mean maybe the place where i mounted the camera as, as far as like reversing and the wide view, it is, I think, in a good spot, which is right at the top of the tail. But as far as like that, that one view I was telling you guys where like uh, the whole mirror takes over the, the, the back rear view mirror, maybe that has something to do with that. Maybe if it was at the license plate area, it would give uh, more of a, a, a better depth perception, also maybe a wider view. Um, I'm not too sure about that, but as far as this car goes, a car that I don't drive on a daily basis, it's just a fun car to go drive around. Uh, these type of things, it's, it's not a huge deal to me, uh, the, all the, the things that are not perfect about it. I would say overall, anyways, it's an upgrade to the car. So I'm super happy with it, super happy with how easy it was to install. And uh, the quality, the price was really good. I think I got this one at about maybe 110 or something like that. And I didn't even think it was gonna come with an SD card. It came with an SD card, so that was a bonus. And just uh, overall, really good, highly recommend it. Uh, I'm gonna, you know, obviously uh, I'm gonna have it for much longer. So maybe later on in the future, I can I might figure some things out with it and also give you guys like, oh, you know, what it's like to have for X amount of time. Uh, but yeah, in the comments, drop down if you have any questions or if you have something, or maybe something better, maybe something that you wish you, you would have gotten this instead. Um, if you um, got any other recommendations for maybe the Porsche, because I think I want to go wireless with that one as far as like a reverse camera. And yeah, if you like the video, please give that a like, uh, share with anyone that might be into this content and please, please subscribe. And yeah. Uh, Take care of yourselves, be healthy, and I'll talk to y'all later.